and welcome back to my channel, Divinely Guided Tarot. If you're new here, my name is Angel and I'm here to bring you another general collective energy reading. This message could be for all signs, so please remember to take only what resonates with your particular situation. Leave the rest behind. This message is also timeless, which means that whenever you're seeing this message is exactly when you were divinely meant to see this message. And as always, guys, thank you so much for all of your likes, your comments, your shares, all of your subscriptions, everything that you do to help these messages reach their intended is a true blessing to not only me and this channel, but to my guides and the guides of those who need these messages. So thank you guys for all being light workers out there, even in these little, small, minute kind of ways. It's special and it's important and you should be proud of yourselves. You're making the difference out in the world. So pat yourselves on the back, okay? Holy Spirit, please come through, help shield, guard, and protect this portal while I channel divinely guided messages for my divinely guided subscribers. Help us with messages that will help them out in the divine right time in the way that my collective needs to get these messages. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, that's, that is good. Let's see. Holy Spirit, what message do you have for my collective? Somebody's taking a deep breath, like a calm before the storm. That's what I feel, like a big, deep breath. You're going through something heavy in your life, Collective. What's going on? Holy Spirit, tell me a little bit about what's going on. We have the Nine of Swords here. This is somebody in my collective who's kind of going through it right now, and Spirit says that's correct. Collective, um, somebody out here is going through a lot of worry, a lot of, of depressing thoughts, like you're being woken up in the middle of the night, like, and just sobbing, like, your heart is broken, and you're taking deep breaths. I feel like you're meditating right now, um, trying to meditate, trying. Taking deep breaths in the nose, out the mouth, and trying to just focus on transmuting your energy off of you. This sadness, this depression, this fear, this anxiety, these hopeless nights, this waking up in the middle of the night and cold sweat kind of action. Um, I don't know what's happening to you, Collective. But if you need help with transmuting this energy off of you, I'm going to give you that help during this reading. All I need is for your, your spirit to, to let me know what you need, okay? So Holy Spirit, I would like to direct this and refocus this. I want to refocus this energy, Holy Spirit, and help me out with messages of how I can help my collective break out of this feeling. I can feel their energetic call for aid and collective. Um, if you are not experiencing this kind of heaviness on you and you want to stick around for the reading, I would be most grateful for you to just reach out and energetically support these individuals who are feeling this way, who have come to my table asking for help. Um, pray for them if you would like to, or just send them love and light. The more light that we as light workers can collectively push into somebody, we can help break glass ceilings. We can push that negativity right out of the crown of somebody's head. You know what I mean? We can push negativity out of a body. This individual is trying very, 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 very hard to do this right now. Spirit says that's correct. And sir or madam who is going through this experience right now, I feel you. For the rest of you where you are very sensitive and you can't be around energy like this, um, definitely feel free to click off of this. Um, we accept your love and kindness and support and we'll help these individuals moving forward. We'll catch you on the next reading, okay? But for those of you who are here right now and sticking with this reading to talk about the heaviness that's on you and how we can help you as a collective break out of that. What spirit wants you to know the most? Um, 
So thank you for being brave enough to bring this to my table because this is not easy. It's not easy asking for help. But you came to the right place. So take that deep breath. I know you're shaky right now. I can feel you energetically just like you know I'm talking to you. I can feel you. <laughs> it's okay. Um, we're going to get through this, okay? We're not going to leave you hanging. Holy Spirit, tell me what I need to tell my collective in order to combat this. We don't want anybody in our collective to go through fear, anxiety, depression, none of that. You receive the hangman. This is a moment for pause and surrender in your life. This is a moment for you to release what doesn't belong to you any longer. And I know that you identify that you need to let this go or this hangman card wouldn't have come out. It would have come in the reverse. You know what I mean? You understand what you're doing. You're trying to alchemize this energy off of you. You're trying to transmute it, but you're struggling with it. Because right now your ego is still standing in the way from you jumping in this car and driving away from those issues and problems. But you have a divine chariot here. You have inside your vessel the very light that is needed to combat this energy. This is spirit saying to you, you have the engine inside of you to get you out of it. You don't need to be fast on foot. You don't need to be fast in the water. You don't even need to be uh, uh, faster than a vehicle. You just have to know that the engine inside your soul is powerful enough to shoot you right off of this planet astrally into space to transmute your energy and dump it off out there before you come back. So this may be a moment in time where we're going to be teaching you not only how to transmute these emotions off of you, but maybe teaching you a little bit of a different way to do it. And they would not have, they would not have told me to do this and teach you this if it wasn't something that was necessary. So let's take like a, a quick break just for a few moments. Let's just have a coffee and she moment, Queen of Wands, okay? You are definitely a very courageous individual who's come up with, um, come up to the board. Your zest for life, your determination to break out of this depression and anxiety is admirable, okay? And you will be successful. So Divine Collective, I feel like you know how to astral travel. I feel like you know how to separate your ego from your body and push your spirit out. And I feel like you love floating around in space. You love floating around in the clouds. You like drifting off and being in the 5D more than the 3D. So while you're in your 5D um, exercises, you know, walking in the 5D, I want you to start imagining actually walking energetically in the 5D and while you do your deep breathing in the 5D and you're pulling that light into your body and up your spine, into your pineal gland and back down with every breath and every exhale of your breath, I want you to start commanding the, the spirit or the entity off of your body. Now, the spirit of depression, I want you to call it out by name. I command the spirit of depression to remove itself from my body, to detach from my body, and to be given to God to handle for me in Jesus' name. I command the spirit of anxiety off of my body. I give it energetically to our Father in heaven. I ask you to positively charge this, heal my wounds, my energetic wounds from this anxiety and pour it back down on me in joy. Say, God, I release the pain off of me. I release this feeling that doesn't belong to me and I receive your blessings. I receive your peace. I receive your grace. Now, once you're done 
meditating and walking in the 5D and energetically transmuting these emotions off of you, when you come back down into your body, you are going to feel really weak, really, really, really drained. Grab yourself a soda, something with some sugar in it. Take a drink, then have some water, and then I want you to go ahead and try to get yourself to go to sleep and pray for protection over your sleep so that way your sleep is not interrupted. If you have sage at your home, this is a great opportunity to run sage over your entire house. Pray blessings and protection. Open up your windows. Sage all of the, the, the energy out of your home. Sweep your floors. Mop your floors. Clean your house. This will help remove dark energy from your life. Rearrange your furniture. Do a little feng shui, you know, put the TV in a different corner. Put the bed up against a different wall. Change, this is a time for change in your personal space because it's going to help eliminate and combat this energy. And when we tend to keep ourselves busy, we are able to work through a lot of these emotions um, naturally. So while you're doing dishes, while you're cleaning your, your house, while you're rearranging your furniture, spirit is talking to you and downloading things to you. You're going through scenarios in your head. Um, you're thinking about your life. You're thinking about situations. You're not just clearing out um, the energy from your home. You're clearing out the cobwebs in your own mind. So that way you can energetically release all of these spirits off of your body because they don't belong to you and you know that collective so i think that you are on the right track with alchemizing your energy um but what spirit is wanting you to do is to take it one step further beef it up start walking in the 5d with them get into deep meditative states and energetically transmute your, your emotions in the 5D instead of in the 3D. They want you to sleep. They're showing me four of swords energy. They want you to sleep. They want you to rest. This kind of work is going to be new to you, and it is, it is hard to do. But just like any hard work with this king of, of uh, or excuse me, this knight of pentacles here, this is a card all about hard work, labor, determination to get to the end goal okay you're not afraid of hard work collective it's just that you've been betrayed so much in your life that you know how to take care of yourself you're a good self soother you know what i mean um and i think that you've been transmuting your own energy and alchemizing your own energy for so long because of how people have treated you in the past because it's been necessary for you to to transmute this energy off of you that now it's like your normal transmutation like your normal alchemy sessions that you have with yourself are not working as well as they used to and that's because your ego is still in the way so spirit says, move around your ego. Go into the 5D to transmute your energy now. And that's beautiful advice collective. Like, that's how spirit creates a way. That's how God makes a way for you. No matter what, there is, what's the saying? There's a hundred ways. No, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Skin a blah. No, no, I'm not. I'm no. We don't do that. We don't do that. I know that's the saying, but there's there's many ways to do a job. There's more than one way to win a race, the legit way. You know, each person is like a fingerprint. Your spirit, your aura, is like a digital fingerprint, and it's unique and it's special. And it all has the capability, every single one of you, to have this overflowing abundance of love from the divine. For you, Collective, it's just about tapping into your gifts and, and growing a little bit more, taking your exercises to the next level, to get back to that moment 
of overflowing love and compassion and joy that you have for others. You're not always going to be in this depressed state. You're not always going to be torn down and energetically tired. Um, these are just moments in your life that you're going through so the divine can help you um, prepare for your future. And training you, divine collective, on how to use your particular talents and abilities is all about how you're going to handle life in the future. So the divine is providing these pentacles for you. And I know that this is a card of long-term view, the seven of pentacles energy, but what the divine is showing me with this right now is that each one of these pentacles is a lesson that you've learned in life, a way to heal yourself, monumental core memories that were made that will prepare you for your the, the journey, the rest of the journey that you have in this life. These are also skills. These are not just lessons. With each lesson that you've learned, Collective, they're telling me that you earned a special talent or gift, spiritual gift, and that right now you are in a moment of time where they're trying to teach you how to not only use these gifts separately, but to use them combined together for a different kind of purpose. So maybe the divine is introducing, um, no, not introducing, they're allowing more difficult circumstances happen in your life. So that way you have something to practice your abilities and skills on. So even though it may seem hard right now for you, and right now your emotions are really in it, they're asking you to step out of your ego and treat this as like a classroom lesson, like spiritual practice. It's like going to the gym and exercising your muscles, only you're exercising your specific gifts. That's why rest and relaxation is so important for you. If you're not already in a hermit mode, which I doubt that you're not, I see hermit all over here. Like you don't want to be around anybody. You are, you're depressed. You, you're not happy. You're, you're, you're almost sick. Like you're almost making yourself sick. And God says that your time has come. This is a card of abundance. These gifts were given to you in abundance for you to use. And right now the divine wants you to walk through this portal right here. Walk through that portal, receive all of these gifts and let God help you learn how to temper them and use them. So right now collective, I am not going to go too much further. You may suffer from negative thoughts and maybe um, once upon a time, long, long ago, you were like one of those people that you see in comment sections of, of, uh, in, in anywhere, <laughs> you know, there's always somebody in the comment sections that seems to just embody that my life is so terrible and everybody sucks and blah, blah, blah. And you don't know what you're talking about, blah, blah, blah. Like you do not want to be trapped and bound by negative thoughts anymore. That's why you're in that nine of swords. You're making energetic steps to get out of this negative thought pattern. And that's telling me that you're ready for this. You're ready. Do you see this queen of pentacles? You deserve to be looking at these gifts as a blessing from the divine. And gifts don't come without the, the little energetic pains that go along with them. You're paying your dues and you're learning how to use these gifts. You're going through what we call in the spiritual community, growing pains. These are growing pains. I mean, the demons that you have to face in your life to vanquish, to overcome, to get to this status collective, whew, growing pains. Growing pains keep me up at night. I don't know about you, but there are some times when it's just like, oh, goodness gracious, can we stop the carousel? I want to get off. I'm done. <laughs> you know? 
Holy Spirit, give me some clarifying messages for closing this message for my divine collective who is going through this depression and anxiety. I see a lot of energetic work. They are making all of the right steps to get out of this, but their heart is still struggling, Holy Spirit. First and foremost, I pray that you lift the weight off of them. Bind this demon that is in them, preventing them from healing to allow my divine subscribers to get that energetic breath that they need. Allow them to reach the surface, to break that water line, to get that breath of fresh air, Holy Spirit, and then pull them up out of that water and rest them on the top of the waves. Let them see the anxiety and the depression and the, the fear and everything under the water line and allow them to transmute their energy with you, Father God. Yes. Yes. Let them energetically transmute this energy with you, God. With you teaching them how. With you guiding them every step of the way. Please provide me with the scriptures that are going to lead them to those moments where they transmute that energy. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God is your teacher. He will make himself known to you. He will help you out of this. He says all he is waiting for is for you to knock on the door and let him through so he can help you. And he will actually do all of the transmutation for you. So when you feel at your lowest collective, they're telling me when you feel like you're drowning in particular, they want you to reach your 3D hand high up above your head and reach with an outstretched hand to God and say, grab my hand and pull me up. And you close your eyes and you feel them lift you out of your body. You may never have astral traveled before, but this will be the moment that you do. And God's going to help you. He's going to help take all of this away for you. Holy Spirit, provide for me as I've asked. Ooh. Yeah. They said, behold, I will show you the miracles of God. So you're going to have some angelic support coming down and helping you collective. I, If you have not introduce yourself to Archangel Michael or Archangel Raphael. They're saying now is the time to become acquainted with them because now Archangels are going to be stepping in to assist you. Reach out and ask for help from Archangel Raphael to please bathe you in his emerald green light and to teach you how to heal yourself, heal your emotions. I imagine him like a, 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 like aloe vera. I see aloe vera plants whenever I see Archangel Raphael. It's that green, it's that cooling balm on the wound. You know what I mean? He will help you transmute your energy off of you. Archangel Michael will help protect you while you do your energetic work. So you can ask Archangel Michael to help shield, protect, and guard your body while your spirit is roaming with the ethers, being taught by God how to how to how to take the the how to heal yourself. So get comfortable with these archangels and start talking to them and just tell them that you're grateful for their assistance in your life. And if they have anything that they can energetically show you to download the, that information to you so that way you can learn and continue to grow and they will be with you always. Once you're introduced to these fellas, they will stay in your life with you always. So you're being introduced to new guides and angels as well. And I'm very proud of you because you wouldn't be able to be in their presence with their aid and their help if you weren't in the right mindset to, to invite them in. You are going to break free of this in Jesus' name. Depression and anxiety won't have any 
part of your future life in Jesus' name. And you can put that down in the comments section. I am free from depression and anxiety. I receive it. I claim it in Jesus' name. And believe it. There's going to be many of you that are going to be waking up out of this the next day after you see this video. They're telling me that the very next morning after watching this, your next breath is not going to be one of having to cope. It's going to be with one of relaxation. That four of swords energy, they're going to usher you into a moment, a pause for your life to where you can finally take a breath and relax and sleep a little bit. You know what I mean? He heals my broken heart and binds up my wounds, curing my pains and sorrows. Come through, Holy Spirit. Mm, you knew we needed this one. That is Psalm chapter 147, verse 3. This is, this is God saying, there is nothing about you that can ever stay broken for long. God will heal up your wounds. He will bind your heart. He will patch up the cracks inside your spirit. He'll safeguard you. He'll protect your dreams. He'll protect your thoughts for you. He'll guard you when you sleep so that way you don't have to wake up in anxiety and depression anymore. Like that Nine of Swords card sitting up in that bed. Ugly bed spread and all. Becca over at Luma Moon Tarot says that this is like the ugliest bed spread on the face of the planet. It is. It's disgusting. And that's probably why she's crying. I have such ugly bedspread. No, this is you never having to wake up in the middle of the night ever again like this. If anything, they're going to wake you up at three o'clock in the morning and they're going to be like, go to the bathroom. And then, ha ha, now you can't go back to sleep. You might as well pray and talk to us. You know, and it's going to be like a fun experience instead of a bad one. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for that scripture. That is definitely one that we need. Whew. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight. O oh Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Psalm chapter 19, verse 14. May my words and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, God. We were just talking about deep meditation and giving God that permission to pull you out of your body, to move around your own ego so that God can help you transmute that energy in 5D. This is the scripture that is backing that up. Your words, your confessions of your heart are pleasing to God. You're asking God to help you in a very specific way because you identify that this is how it's going to be. Like you say, I know this is what I have to do, God. I have to transmute this energy off of me. I can't keep this toxic, hateful, painful anxiety and depression on me anymore. I need to release it, but I'm struggling with it. It's not coming off of me as easily as it was before. And now that God has identified that they want you to use a new part of your ability to learn how to alchemize energy in any form, it's, it's, they're, they're just teaching you. They're helping you grow. You are pleasing to God. Everything that you do is pleasing to God. And they're telling you that everything that you're doing is correct. They're teaching you something right now. And you are learning. I love it. You're learning how to use your abilities. Whew. I will look to the Lord and confident in him. I will keep watch. I will wait with hope. An expectancy for the God of my salvation, my God will hear me. And that's Micah chapter 7, verse 7. God always hears you. So anytime you feel trapped or stuck collective, if you feel like your prayers aren't even being heard, if you feel like you don't know how the words to speak to pray, 
Maybe that's it. You don't know the words to use. Collective, I want you to remember that your soul can pray for you. Your spirit can pray for you. The Holy Spirit that rests inside of you can pray on your behalf. I will share that I have gone through moments of deep depression where I have woken up and my eyes hurt so bad I wasn't even able to cry anymore. Like my face was so swollen I couldn't cry anymore. Not even like the ugly tears. Like there was just no more water left in my my tear ducts, you know? And I was laying on my bed staring at my ceiling very similar into the, the energy that you're experiencing. And I remember saying whole I remember saying holy spirit I don't even know what to pray you know what's going on inside of me pray for me I don't know and then I just sobbed some more and that next morning it was like God heard the the very deepest echoes of my soul because my soul cried out for me the Holy Spirit prayed on my behalf I didn't have to think of the words so if you are so drained and exhausted in your life that you can't even form the words to pray and that your thoughts are just not coming to you and you just have no energy to even think pray and ask for the Holy Spirit to pray for you and it will be done and the enemy won't be able to hear it you know what I mean so I know that you're going through a hard time right now, but in Jesus' name, it'll be better in the morning. You're going to see a rainbow um, this week. You're going to see a rainbow or a shooting star this week, and it's going to be your symbol. It's going to be your sign from God that he will never leave you in that depressed, anxious state. He will never leave you in that state. Okay, guys, and that's all I have for you right now. That's all that they're sharing. The rest of them are just kind of like, next. <laughs> you know, they want to they wanna go ahead and switch out the energies here. Um, but God is with you, okay? Just know that. And if you ever need any help for anything, um, if you need a prayer request, if you would like me to pray for you, if you would like our collective to pray for you, I would like you to put down your prayer request in the comment section of this particular video so that all who choose to watch this video, who choose to pray for you can energetically go through the comment section and pray for each and every one of you that are going through this. Um, this is a great time in our lives to be light workers on this channel to come through and help people that are going through these tough situations. So I thank you so much collective out there who is going through this. Thank you for being brave enough to bring it to the group. And for those of you who are not going through this, but you want to help. Thank you so much for being part of this group. I am so blessed to work with both you individuals. You honor me by bringing tough stuff like this here. And I can't wait to feel this come off of you in Jesus' name. So go dry your eyes before you make me cry. And uh, it's going to be better, okay? There will always be a tomorrow morning. There will always be a sunrise. The sun is coming. Just hang in there a little bit longer, okay? We got you. Take care of yourselves, collective, and God bless.